All right, one of the questions we get most frequently asked uh, about items and in inventory is changing item types. Right? Item types really matter if you run like sales by item summary reports. It's going to total by inventory, service, other charges. So it's going to total by type. Uh, all right. Or give subtotals by type, excuse me. So sometimes that uh, bothers people. So they see here, like, hey, wait, electrical is supposed to be up under inventory. Uh, and so they want to change the type. Now, there's a little bit of a problem there in your items list. Go ahead and take a look at it. We're going to just pretend like electrical should be inventory part. So we look at this here. First things first, if I run a quick report on it, all right, I'm going to see all the invoices that show up there. So there are some invoices that will be affected. Okay, so you cannot, if I edit this item, you cannot change a service item to be another item type. Just doesn't work. Can't do it. Sorry. So there's a couple things you can do to fix the problem. If you're not going to go back and fix it historically, then you just want to you want to go in and edit this item, add a period to it, say OK, and you can then make that item inactive. All right, and then I'm going to go in and add a new inventory item called electrical. Choose a proper in income account. Okay, fill in, you'd fill in all the details, of course. Okay, so that makes it an inventory item now. Now notice, when I change it to an inventory part, I can't change it to a service part now, or I can't change it to another part. I can only change it to an inventory assembly. Okay, on other charges, if you look at those, you can change those for, to a service or an inventory part assembly, non-inventory part. So this is a good thing to note. If you are setting up somebody's books and you're not quite sure what what type of uh, in, you know item type you should choose, sometimes it's best to set them up as other charges and then go through with the owner. Yes, this is an inventory part. Yes, this is a non-inventory part, etc. So if you're not sure, set them up as other charges. Uh, and then also, or you can set them up as non-inventory parts because you can change those. Okay. So that's part one about what you can and can't change. Now let's get back to this. So let's say that I wanted to change the history on this. So I would run a quick report for electrical then. Double click on this invoice here. And instead of choosing electrical there, now of course I want to make sure and note I've got quantity of 12, $819 total because you got to remember that. So instead of that, I'm actually going to go in here and type in the new electrical, the inventory part. Okay, so I have to remember that it was 819 and that was non-taxable so that the invoice stays the same price, but now it's going to move it out of that old electrical service item and into this electrical inventory item. Okay, and I want to do the same thing on the other invoices. 341.25, okay. non-taxable, save and close. Do you want to change it? Again, you need to make sure that when you change these that you're not affecting the history too much. And that is also, if it is affecting the history, that is pointed to the proper accounts, the same accounts that you should be, you know, that you want it to affect or that it won't mess up your prior books. Okay. All right. So I'm going to say save and close there. So I changed everything. Or did I? <laughs> now let me go into my items list here. Electrical, the one that I made inactive. I'm going to go ahead and try and delete it. And you notice that I didn't have any transactions in there. So now why is it telling me I cannot delete it? I can only make it inactive. It's because it's actually used in a non-posting transaction. So if I do a quick report on this, and I'm going to say A for all. I'm going to go into modify and filter it for posting status, non-posting, and look, I've got an estimate there where that electrical is used. So I need to go into the electrical here, 682.5, okay, change this to 682.5, non-taxable, everything still stays the same, save and close, uh, do not add. Now, of course, that will mess up, that will mess up 
it won't tie out. Now, if I look at my estimate versus actual, um, it's it's not going to tie those those two line items together. So it's still going to show it as being open on the estimate. But now I can get rid of that item. Okay, so it's not pretty. It's not the best way to do it, uh, but that's the only way to go from a service item to an inventory part. And it would be the only way to do the same, go from an inventory part to a service item or from an inventory part to a non-inventory part. It's the only way to go and do it is you have to go in and change each individual transaction that it's on. All right, so that is changing item types.